And I'm back with Fallout 2. Um, welcome to episode 55. I've decided to make it over to go over to the tanker and talk to this guy here. Hello, Chip. Oh my god, so, oh, oh, oh! What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? I'll tell you. It's that I got drunk last week. Started gambling with the uh, Lao Chao and lost. I was so blind drunk that I bet my spleen. Now he has it. And I need it back. You sold your spleen? Yeah, I sold it. I was drunk. Plus, I think Lao Chao slipped me some jet in my drink. I need my spleen back because I'm getting infectious now. Mm, okay, I'll take a look for you. I really appreciate uh, appreciate this. Go talk to Lacho, the merchant, and tell him I need my spleen back. Okay, I'll be back. And da -da -da -da, I'm gonna pause to save you the trouble of watching me running around. Okay, and this merchant should be somewhere around here. Well, there are two merchants here. I think it's this one. Um, who are you? I'm Lao Cho. Ah, there you go. I run this establishment. Flying Dragon 8. I trade in information. Uh, little happiness in this town that I do not know about. Little happens in this town that I do not know about. Of course you must know the right question to ask, yes? What do you need to know? I'm looking for a spleen. A spleen? Haha, yes, Chip from the Valdis lost his spleen in a card game the other day. I sold it to Dr. Wong. He was fascinated by it. Where can I find him? Uh, Dr. Wong is a head scientist in the Steel Palace. See him there. Mm. Okay, bye. And the Steel Palace is where the Shi Emperor is residing. I'm not sure I even have the, the access to the place yet. do have access to that place. It's one of these guys, I think. Or one of these guys, or one of that, or, or that guy there. Dr. Wong, I'm the head scientist of this installation. More questions, please. I heard you have someone else's spleen. Ah, yes, indeed. I will prepare it with uh, fava beans and a nice Chianti. Um, Hannibal Lecter, anyone? Uh, you still got it? Good. Chip needs it back. Who is this chip? It is my spleen now, and I'm having it for dinner. <laughs> Chip's the original owner of the spleen. He was drunk and sold it to Lao Chao. A deal is a deal. He can't have it. Sorry, but he made a bargain and just because Chip regrets it now, it doesn't mean that he can go back on his deal. Uh, Okay, uh, I kind of failed that. 
Yep, I failed that. Oops. And I didn't save, do I? Nope, I didn't. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, where are you? More questions? Uh, I hear you have someone else's spleen. <laughs> You're supposed to sort of liver with that wine instead of spleen, right? Haha, <laughs> yes, I... I too saw that old movie. Wait, what are you saying? Are you saying that? Yes, it's a human spleen. It's a human spleen. Oh, sure, didn't tell me that. Uh, tell your friend to come by for it when within the next day, and I will gladly return it to him. I just hope you uh, can find a way to replace it in his body in time. Very well. Okay, I need to find a good doctor who will replace the the lost spleen. Let's find a doctor, shall we? I'm just gonna check over here everywhere. No. Yeah. Maybe over here. There's something there. Ooh. Looks like a doctor in there. Mm. I have a friend who is missing his plane. Can you help him? Of course I can. Uh, and since you're aware of Doc Holiday, I will do it for you for no more than sake of friendship. Tell your spleenless friend to come here and I'll replace it for, replace it for him. Thanks. You normally you'd pay a thousand for the transaction, but uh, since I already spoke to Doc Holiday in uh, uh, Broken Hills, Uh, a friend of that doctor there he's gonna do it for free so let's get back to that thing person chip yeah that's his name chip let's get back to chip and tell him that he can have his plane back Dude, I hear you found my spleen. Did you know? To, uh, did you know to talk to Doctor Fung about getting it back in me? Yeah. And he says he'll stick it in you for free. Well, you have some serious connections. Come back in a day, and I'll see what I can give you. Got it. He's gonna leave, and I can. I'm gonna rest for um, till midnight. I'm gonna rest till eight for uh, screw it, I'll rest for two hours. Damn it! Okay, he needs to leave, and then I come back within uh, in a day. Gone yet? Good. I'm gonna rest here. Ah, there you go. And I get level twenty four. Where is it? Where is it? Sniper. You have mastered the firearm as a source of pain. 
With this perk, many successful hits in combat with a ranged weapon will be upgraded to a critical hit, if you also make a lock roll. Hell yeah! Done! Uh, next level, 300,000 experience. And since I have an increased intelligence, I get more skill points. I get 21 instead of uh, 19 now. And I'm gonna pour everything into energy weapons. That's really the, the choice I'm gonna make. Done. Okay, what's next on the list? And uh, let's see, let's visit the herbologists and slaughter them all. here uh, I'm bite me I'm just looking around you are not one of the brethren and you're therefore not authorized to be here unless you're planning on joining us which you may by expressing that your interest to AHS 7 who is at the ground post who's at the guard post now either get downstairs or get out of here fine 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 you know what screw that I'm gonna join them there he is state your business uh, I'm interested in potentially joining the group Excellent, go on in. Speak to Julian Cruz and Vicky Goldman. They are celebrities, you know. But they talk to you. But they'll talk to you. Ooh, celebrities. You can find them in in the prayer room, showing all your new recruits. Showing all the all our new recruits. And the Romy, just how rewarding it is to be a hobologist. A hobologist. Uh, okay. Good. Now disable that force field. You disable it good. Right. This place is a maze. Okay, quick save and go talk to this guy. I'm just gonna stand here, stand here and watch the the float lines. Come on, stop 
jabbering on already. There we go. Hi, I'm Juan Cruz, her, and I'm ah, him. Hi, I'm Juan Cruz, her, and I'm Vicky Goldman. Both. We're celebrities and we endorse homology. Please note that our similarities be. Uh, please note that any similarities between us and people or institutions, living or dead, is entirely co <laughs> coincidental. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I want to be a herbologist. Uh, how do I join? Well, it's very simple. We just give you this information holodisk, you see it through a short movie, and then you go talk to H uh, HS7. Easy, isn't it? Let's do it. That wasn't so bad, was it? Now, just go talk to a HS7 and we'll be comrades in herbology. I'm so excited. Getting new recruits makes me horny. Oh, honey. Oh, baby. Okay, get a room, you two. Just come back later. Mm, I actually want to talk to one of these guys here. Eventually. Who's this? That's the HS9 guy. Uh, Holodisk. Drop hollow disk status. Most homologous teachings. Blah 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 blah. Anyone who wants to read this, you're welcome to. Just pause and read. So now you've spoken to Juan and Vicky. Are you interested in joining your friends in the search for enlightenment to the Great Wheel? Uh, sure. You won't regret this. You may have the run of the compound. Oh, you're a person who knows how to use a weapon. Would you care to use yours in the service of the Great Wheel? Yes. The de facto leader of the tanker. Uh, he hasn't done uh, tanker. Uh, okay, the de facto leader of the tanker vagrants is a piece of anti uh, therapeu anti therapeutic raw meat named Badger. With his death they will come to understand his position our position will you remove him uh, he hasn't done me any harm I'd rather not perhaps you will reconsider let me know if you do now, uh, now is there anything else the hope can provide for you recruit not right now thanks I don't want to actually kill Badger unless I really really have to He's cool. He likes it. He he can belch. I mean, he really can belch. What the? Hell? How did? How the hell did I go through a steel wall? Magic. That's how. Okay, doctor. Someone. Let's talk to you. Yeah, what do you want? Who are you? I'm Crockett. I'm scientist and fixing guy. Can I uh, get back to it? No, I have questions. Okay, what do you want? What do you do here? 
Mm, I developed a new technology and I get my share of cultist hell. If you catch my meaning. Mm. What, uh, what new te tech have you developed? Let's see, I built a nuclear, 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 nuclear reactor for the spaceship. I created the hardening process for power armor and I fix things that are broken. I see I have more questions. Can you upgrade power armor? Yeah, I can do that. But uh, what are you willing to trade for it? Uh, I can pay. Great, that'll cost you 10 grand, 10 grand straight up, no bart uh, bartering. I need some new equipment. Hmm. That's outrageous. I don't have that kind of money. Uh, you want this armor or not? It's 10,000 10, flat out. I'll give that to you. First, I don't have a power armor available unless I take one off Cassidy. Second, I can upgrade two at a time as far as I remember. And I, get, I need to get the second one for Sulik as well. So they'll uh, they'll be sporting the upgraded versions of power armor. Now if I could only remember where one is Ooh I know where one is. And I'm not gonna go there yet. There's one uh, there's one in uh, the military base for mutants. Can I talk to you, guy? You are in the presence of HS9, the great and terrible. Uh, what is it that you desire of him? Uh, I have many questions for you. Address your questions to HS7. I am HS9, the great and terrible, and I have many matters on, on my mind. Trouble me not, meat. That's that's a terrible line. If you want to, if you want to answer my questions, you'll answer my weapons. Whatever. Screw you, dick. So I can't really. You know what? I already repaired the tanker. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go and uh, organize an accident for for Badger. I have a bunch of explosives which I can use. Of this, uh, so have you reconsidered whether you would remove this Badger? Yeah, I'll do it. Let us know when you have completed your task. Will do. Okay, thanks, bye. Okay, do I have any explosive on me? No. But there's plenty in the car. Not that I need any of it anymore. I think I, I've blown everything I needed. I've blown up everything I needed to. There's a motor I could use to fix the Skynet. There's plastic explosive and... I'm gonna... actually no, I'm gonna use two just in case. If I don't, uh, if I don't blow him up in one go, I'm just gonna dump two on him and just wait and see what happens. Uh, 
Because I don't want to start a fight, really. If I start, if I just start shooting everything, everyone in the tank, I will, will start attacking me. But this way, pretty sure I can actually get away with. Okay, quick save with uh, planting some some of the shit on him. Done. Which one's active? I think this one. Is there a door here I could close? Great. It's a good thing I saved before actually doing anything. Come here, Sulik. Get the hell out of there. I'm gonna lock this door. Can I not? He didn't die. How much life do you have? What? Okay, that's not the way it should have worked. He still didn't die. He's still alive. No, at least he's not attacking me now. Okay, next episode. We kill Badger by means of explodey things. See you then.